Hello, welcome back. It is the gloomiest morning, which is why I'm all cozied up in my gigantic sweater. I hope you can hear the rain in the background. It is just absolutely gorgeous this Sunday morning. And thank you all for the kind comments on the last video. I appreciate you enjoying this format enough to allow me to be able to do this because I do truly feel like something like this is just a lot easier to stay consistent with. Don't get me wrong, I definitely still want to make those other, you know, more fun editing, you know, take you all around with me style videos, which I actually did attempt to do with this one but in order to really be able to stick with a more regular upload schedule and whatnot I think this is the best way for now at least with schooling and everything this is just a lot easier right now anywho I hope you all are well it's not usually so dreary in San Francisco we actually had somewhat of a nice sunny week with daylight savings and all that it has been so nice to have an additional hour in the evenings I will say I am a morning person and so waking up while it's still dark out has not been great. I found that I sleep in a bit more now because I do think I naturally wake up with the sunlight. So, well, you know, it is what it is. Hope you all are well. I think I said that already. I really am just excited <laughs> to jump into today's topic because I have found myself, sorry, I have my notes over here on my laptop, which is why I'm going to be looking in this direction a lot. I have found myself watching a lot of day in my life from other roles. I found really great high level, what is a product manager type, more conceptual type videos here. So I'll throw those up on the screen as well. I just thought, why not go into an incredibly detailed day in my life where we really get down deep into the... Could you guys hear that bird? There's a crow. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna be like a squirrel out here is what I just realized. I don't know if filming out here was the best idea. I feel like I'm about to get distracted with everything happening around me. I thought it'd be particularly interesting to drop you all into a work day in my life, absolutely no context on the projects themselves, but really talk through the nitty gritty details of exactly what I'm doing because I'm honestly pretty curious about this from other roles, like for example, software engineers. How much time do you spend actually writing code? How much time do you spend reviewing code? exactly what are you doing when you're reviewing code? That's also another question that I have. How much time are you spending looking up things, asking people for help and whatnot? So I thought it'd be interesting to share my own perspective from my own role. Before I completely drop you into my workday though, a little bit of context here because I do find that based on your current career stage as a product manager, sorry, there's a plane, and also what your area of ownership is, your day-to-day -day, I'm sure can change by a lot at least I found that my own has from when I first started off as a PM until now night and day people so right now I am going into my third year as a product manager and I drive all of our mobile experiences for our product we me the engineering managers sort of like the leads of the team itself drive and along with the leadership team of course drive the overall strategy define what exactly that roadmap looks like i hope that gives you a little bit of context before i dive into this funny enough i was actually aiming to make this a very well put together day in my life very entertaining lots of angles bring you along with me into the office i think i got to well you all will see i think i got to the point of uh, starting work in the office and then the workday got so busy and to be honest it doesn't look particularly interesting i think i'm pretty much just typing away on my laptop the entire time occasionally dipping into a meeting room occasionally talking to the people in the, who are in the office grabbing lunch and things like that so nothing too interesting but for this day specifically i decided every time i was sorry putting to my laptop here i was doing something new switching tasks jumping into meetings i would type it down so that I could talk about it with you all. So I'm going to be looking this way a lot because I quite literally wrote down exactly what I did throughout the day, which I will now share with you all. And if you find this at all helpful or interesting and would like to see more day in my life like this, do let me know because I'm not even kidding. 
every single day is different and that is why i love this job every day is so incredibly different okay i'm talking so much let's go ahead and dive into it so i'll start off with when i wake up because of the daylight savings i now wake up at like 7 15 7 30 i love 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 my slow morning i always aim to arrive at the office about 8 8 30 because along with my slow mornings i'd like to really take time to have a breakfast so i make my breakfast from avocado toast and then i'll head on to my desk where i get all plugged in to the monitors and whatnot say hi to one or two coworkers who sit near me and they're on my immediate team which thank god for these coworkers being in the office because truly i love being there in person with my team even just getting to say like a brief little good morning how was your weekend when i first see them it makes it going into the office all worth it because i just i love these people they're fantastic and so i'll spend the first 30 an hour however much on this day it was 30 minutes because i got into the office a little bit later to really just go through my chats and look over my calendar for the day and then emails y'all i am so bad with emails i wish i was a zero inbox person but i'm not i wish i really wish so usually i look through for things that say like action required or immediate action needed anything <clears throat> anything from my immediate team i try to just quickly take a glance through our names and things like that but i'll be honest emails are not my forte at 9 30 is when our stand-ups start and i have three today 15 minutes each these i'm not necessarily required to attend because they are more for the engineers to sync with one another but as much as i can i'll usually at least listen in and provide my own updates that's just a personal preference i know every pm does it differently i prefer being in these stand-ups because i like honestly i just like being a part of them i like being able to hear the updates i like being able to give my own as well it's just a nice way to check in with the team and we have a bit of a varied scheduling with our stand-ups on mondays and wednesdays is when we do our cross team stand-ups specifically for the feature crews themselves working on specific feature sets and then on tuesdays we have specific team stand-ups like ios and android team stand-ups on thursday we do a full mobile team stand-up and then on fridays we do no meeting fridays it's kind of an interesting structure but uh like i said 9 30 9 45 and 10 are when those stand-ups are I'm just basically listening in. So here are a couple things I noted down that I was doing while listening in. I feel like you can also tell when I'm listening in on these stand-ups because I'll have my camera on because I'm physically present, but I'm always looking at my monitor. So they'll usually get this like side profile view of me, which I just thought was particularly funny. I noted down though what I was doing during these stand-ups. I was preparing for our team all hands, which we had the next day i was preparing a deck for it which essentially just covers a couple of top mind announcements and then we'll deep dive into some topics so getting all that deck essentially ready and prepared and then i was reviewing some online articles that were updating for a couple features that were updating essentially end user documentation that we work with the content team on producing well we work with the content team and also the designers in order to get screens that will include in the articles themselves but these are the articles that when you go online to look up you know let's say for example instagram you're like how do i create a story on instagram right it points you to sorry i don't know why i said right there it points you to articles on how exactly to do that so articles like that we work with the content team to produce amazing team there we call them like support documentation essentially and so i was just reviewing leaving a couple notes on the current drafted articles with our content designer and i was also updating our krs so if you don't know what krs are they are called key results they're actually part of a larger concept called objectives and key results which is used for quarterly planning we use those as well and every two weeks we check in with the leadership team on how our key results are doing we do have engineering ones we also have product side ones and so that's what i was updating every two weeks actually i should be doing this every week but every two weeks i make sure to go in and mark if we're on track if anything's at risk i'll leave some comments and some updates on how 
we're tracking progress towards those key results. Those were the larger tasks I was doing during those stand-ups. And then at 10.30, we had a run of business type meeting that is actually run by a PM on my immediate PM team. She's driving an all-up effort right now that we have a really large cross-team effort. And because it involves so many different teams and so many different players, we actually have weekly, sometimes bi-weekly, updates to the leadership team on Thursdays. And so she was pulling together a deck in order to just do sort of like a high-level view of what those updates will be for Thursday. And our team had a slide in there that I was helping update. And so just making sure that we're looped in there on what exactly needs to be presented on Thursday, what exactly we want to address essentially in that conversation, and making sure someone's on point to uh, prepare the slides and have that conversation. Sorry, my nose is itchy. And then at 11.30, another standing meeting that I essentially just listen in on. I just really like to be as involved as I can, almost to a fault, because to be honest, could I use the focus time? Absolutely. But if I am able to do a sort of smaller tasks alongside being in these meetings themselves, that smaller tasks I'm going to do anyways, that I don't necessarily need to have my full focus on, I will. So weekly, we also have bug triage meetings with the engineering team. Well, the engineering team drives it with whoever's on call for that week. I like to listen in because I just want to know what's going on. I just like to stay plugged in on all that. And so during this, I really hope you can hear these crows because they make the funniest noises. There are also a lot of planes going on overhead. Sometimes things will come in where it's actually as to what we designed and implemented it to be, but it's more of feedback around how it could be better. And so that's essentially where I feel like my perspective is most helpful, is helping prioritize and triage for things where it's not a bug. During this though, I was working on a couple of these crows, man, they're really distracting me. I was working on a couple of documentation updates, sort of larger resource links and document updates because we have a couple of people moving in and out of our team. We onboarded a new analyst at the end of last week. I did the worst job with this, if I'm being fully transparent, I did the worst job. I tried my best to have a document ready of all of the various work we had going on, the timeline, very high level attempted to just share all this information with him, but I think it came across as very much like dumping too much information. I feel like I should have started off with a much more high level view and only focused on what was top of mind. Definitely could do better next time, which is what I would plan to do because we're onboarding a new designer later today as well. Sorry, I'm now talking in the perspective of today is Monday, okay? Today is no longer Sunday. It is no longer Sunday morning, me sitting here on this couch chatting with you all. It is Monday. So I'm onboarding a designer in about an hour and so I was trying to use what I learned from onboarding the analyst earlier last week to make sure that when I shared all this information with the new designer, it wasn't overwhelming. That's essentially what I was trying to pull together is, hey Evelyn, what exactly do these people actually need to know immediately? What can give them a good sense of, hey, here's what's happening high level just a good way of easing them into it without feeling like I'm really just throwing them into the deep end. Yeah, that's what I was working on. And then at 12, I had lunch with the team. We have the most amazing caterers. Lunch is one of my favorite moments of the day, not even just at work, but just in life in general, because I freaking love food. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you know, I love food. Food. And then at 12.30, a meeting with our new and old designers. So our designers that are moving out of the team and our new designer that is moving into the team itself. Whew. All right. And that puts us at one o'clock. So at one o'clock, I was invited <laughs> I was invited to a larger, I think it was, I really should have noted it down, not RVP, but our VP's manager was giving us feedback on a couple different strategic directions that our team is going in, not our team, sorry, our product is going in. So I was invited to listen in on that. During this, I was actually preparing for a customer roundtable slash also meeting with our customer support folks. Uh, and I think it was like, I think it's next week, actually. I'm not 
it's a little ways out. Helping prepare some material for this presentation, essentially trying to narrow down on which use cases we want to highlight for our product for specifically this segment of people, this audience that we were presenting to, what we felt like would be very helpful for them to hear. Pretty much took up the entire hour of me listening in, preparing those designs themselves. I love getting to go, whoa, sorry, the rain really just blew in this direction. I love being able to join in on these meetings because it's really fun to talk directly to the folks who you're trying to convince or already currently use your product itself. I would say if anything, these are probably one of the more motivating meetings because you get a sense of, oh, hey, what I'm helping build right now is affecting real people. Real people are seeing this and I would love to get their feedback and immediate thoughts on what we're doing. And so having these forums, I'm just incredibly thankful for because I find them very helpful. And then at two o'clock we had our skip level all hands, really just like a team meeting. Skip level being my manager's manager. Recently our overall product has been going through reorgs. These happen, I've told, I've been told. I don't think I've been in a reorg since joining the team itself three years ago. So I'm told they happen about every three years or so. Essentially when the roadmap changes significantly for the product itself, it's a time for the leadership team to essentially look at all the resources across, across across end design product and make sure that the teams make sense does it make sense for this team of pms to sit together and does it make sense for them to work closely with this set of engineers and these engineering managers does it would it make the workflow a bit better or easier if we were to group things differently and so that's what we talked through we recently had a reorg announced last week of across actually all the designers, all the engineers, all the PMs, they all had a reorg just talking through what that reorg meant, who's moving where, getting feedback from folks, just talking through a lot of the changes that were happening. And then at 2.30, we had a bug bash. Once again, one of those meetings where I'm like half in it. I join, I'm like very much very focused for the first 15, 20 minutes when I'm actively helping bug bash. So bug bash, by the way, for those of you who are not familiar with bug bashes, it's when a new feature set, a new whatever is being built out is done and built out and they feel like is ready for feedback and whatnot. They'll invite the larger team optional to join in and help bash bugs which is basically go through play around with the feature do as many different variations of whatever you can do with the feature itself look at the feature even from like a design standpoint what feels right what feels wrong what's actually broken and report those so that's what, what that bug bash was for during that meeting though i was preparing for a 9 a.m meeting tomorrow and i was just putting some mocks together for that as well as cleaning up the document that we wanted to talk about something about having a visual to put to those words i've just always found much more helpful to explain exactly what you're talking about for the feature themselves feature itself and so that's essentially what i was throwing together or would it be helpful to have a designer be plugged in on this absolutely we're just really tight on bandwidth right now so instead i just jumped into figma and i threw together what i call pm mocks i always i'm like always prefacing these when we jump into meetings i'm like just so you all know these are my ugly pm mocks okay don't judge them they're ugly and then at 3 30 we have our weekly what we call our team lead sync and this is made up of me our engineering managers and both from the, both these sides are managers as well as optional so it becomes PM, I see, PM manager, the two EMs that I work most closely with, and then their manager, and then a designer, and then also our analyst. And that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I don't know if I counted that right. Those seven folks make up who we call our team leads. This week specifically, we're heading into Q2 planning, and so much of that discussion was around talking through all the items that we have lined up for Q2, how we're feeling about wrapping up this quarter and all the work that needs to be put 
that needs to be done in the next couple of weeks to gear up for Q2. We also had a heavy, large presentation to the leadership team last week. So it's just taking some time to debrief on that with the team, get their feedback around our next steps and whatnot. And so that is our lead sync. And then at four, our internal product champ that we talked to about a couple new features that are lighting up on our mobile endpoints. So really just met with him to kind of walk through like, here's what this new feature looks like, get his feedback, get his questions answered, whatnot. Sometimes we'll write additional support documentation before these new features go out to the larger company as a whole. 4.30 is when the meetings ended today. And so, I spent the rest of that time really just making sure that any sort of ongoing discussions were closed up, Uh, any sort of last minute things, last minute, of course, always take a look at my calendar for the next day, run through it, make sure everything that I needed to prepare is ready for that next day as well. And I spend 45 minutes doing that, really just depends on the day, is my work day. And then... Today, especially, I met up with some friends to grab a dinner, so I left work and immediately headed over to that dinner spot. We grabbed sushi and just caught up. I haven't met up with, well, one of them was my roommate, but the other person I was meeting up with, I hadn't really sat down and caught up with her in months, so it was really fun to just chit-chat gab, and after eating dinner we walked around a little bit because the sun was still out thank god headed back to my place chit chatted some more with some other roommates who were home and the rest of my evening i spend doing things like this editing and posting on tiktok and talking to y'all so that is a monday that was that monday actually that's not a regular monday that was that specific monday in my life and i hope I don't know if that was at all interesting to hear, but do let me know if you found it to be interesting, if you want more videos like this one. I really enjoy chatting with y'all. And the rain is starting to stop. Nope, actually it's very much still raining. It is, we're getting like that drizzly type rain right now, which is quite interesting. But let me know what you would like me to talk about in my next little sit down chit chat with you all. I did uh, have some book recommendations lined up for you all as well. I know, Ami, you were asking, which I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name. Ami? Ami? But I do have some book recommendations ready for you that I definitely want to talk through. I'll probably leave us a comment as well because why wait until the next little chit-chat session? But that is all for today. Thanks for hanging. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to go enjoy my dreary Sunday. I hope the rain lets up because I would love to be able to get out of the house. But if not, I will be editing this little video for you all and I will catch you all in the comments. Um, Okay, cool. I'll see you all in a bit. I'm dragging this out now, but bye. Crows, man.